Once upon a time in a land not so far away, there lived Ms. Alice. She loved exploring and learning about the amazing world around her. Today, she is going on an exciting over the world underwater adventures to meet some hilarious and fascinating animals. And so, Alice's underwater adventure begins. Woohoo! We are underwater now. This is so cool. So many little things. It's so beautiful here. Do you want to meet some of our underwater friends? Of course, yes. I want to meet everyone. Oh, hello, Mr. Crop. Why do you look so grumpy? Well, I've got these itchy claws. And there's never enough seaweed for me to snack on. But the most important that I forgot how to spell my name. Maybe you need a little scratch for your paws. Here you go, Mr. Crop. Friends, can we help Mr. Crop to spell his name? This we're gonna need to swim around and look for letters. Are you ready for this big adventure? This is so cool. But first, let's sing an alphabet song to remember which letters do we need to look for. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. U R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now you will know my A B C. Next time, won't you sing with me? One more time. Sing with me this time. A B C D E F G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now you will know my A B C. Next time, won't you sing with me? Now we know to spell crop. We're gonna need C R. A and B. C, R, A and B. Let's look for letter C first. Where could it be? Hmm. I'm gonna use binocular to look for it. Hmm. Where could it be? Oh! Do you see the bubbles? I think it's a letter C hiding right under seaweed bush. <gasps> the letter C was sleeping. Yes, we found our first letter C. <laughs> now we're gonna need to look for a letter R. Let's look for a letter R. <gasps> Where could it be the letter R? Hmm. Hiding right behind the red rock. <laughs> we found the second letter R. Great! Now we have C and R. Which letter goes next? It's a letter A. Hmm. Look around. Do we remember how the letter A looks like? It looks like the roof of the house with the middle line. Yes, just like this. Oh, I think I see it. It's right on top of the fish. Yes, it's on top of the back of the fish. Hello, fish. Can we take you letter A? Because we want to spell the word crab. Of course, friends. This is great. Thank you, fish. And I think we have the last letter. It's a letter B. Hmm, let's look for a clue. Hmm, what first comes to your mind when you think about letter B? I think about a ball 
Hmm. Oh, you see that ball? I think letter B is hiding right over there. Hmm. So you found all the letters. C R A B. And now we can spell crab. Five little crabs went out to play on the beach on a sunny day. Crushing wave came towards the land, and one little crab hid under the sand. One, two, three, four. Four little crabs went out to play on the beach on a sunny day. A crushing wave came towards the land, and one little crab hid under the sand. One, two, three. Three little crabs went out to play on the beach on a sunny day. Crushing wave came toward the land, and one little crab hid under the sand. One, two. Two little crabs went out to play on the beach on a sunny day. Crushing wave came toward the land, and one little crab hid under the sand. One. One little crab went out to play on the beach on a sunny day. Crushing wave came toward the land. And the fun little crab hid under the sun. Mother crab said, hold my hand. And all little five crabs went out of the sun. And Alice continued their underwater adventure, swimming past a school of silly looking clownfish. Hey clownfish! Why are you so funny? Well, Alice, we wear these bright colors because we're trying to become famous as the funniest fish in the sea. <laughs> You're really the funniest clownfish in the ocean. Keep dancing. What colors are the clownfish? Clownfish are tiny, bright orange fish with white stripes. They love to play in colorful coral homes and have fun with their wiggly sea anemone friends in the ocean. They are like underwater clowns, bringing joy to everyone around them. Let's color the clownfish. Do you remember which colors do we need? We will need orange, white for stripes, and I will use cyan color for eyes. What color are the fins? Orange color. Which color should be the tail? It's also orange color. Let's color the face and the body of the fish. Let's color the eyes. Can you remind the name of the color I wanted to use? Cyan color. And the last part. White stripes. Great job, my friends. The clownfish is ready to swim to the ocean. Hey, Mr. Turtle, why are you so slow? Turtles are slow because they have strong, protective shells on their backs, which make them feel safe and secure. Their slow and steady pace helps them carry their homes wherever they go and keeps them safe from predators. Even though they are slow, they are still really cool and special in their own. Baby shark to do to do to do baby shark to do to do to do baby shark to do to do to do baby shark Mommy shark to do to do to do mommy shark to do to do to do mommy shark to do to do to do mommy shark Daddy shark to do to do to do daddy shark to do to do to do daddy shark to do to do to do daddy shark Grandma shark to do to do to do grandma shark to do to do to do grandma shark to do to do to do grandma shark Grandpa shark to do to do to do grandpa shark to do to do to do grandpa shark to do to do to do grandpa shark 
Let's go hunt to do to do to do. Let's go hunt to do to do to do. Let's go hunt to do to do to do. Let's go hunt. Save at last to do to do to do. Save that last to do to do to do. Save that last to do to do to do. Save that last. Run away to do to do to do. Run away to do to do to do. Run away to do to do to do to do.